Neo Tokyo is a 1987 sci-fi anthology of three short animated films. The middle film called Running Man appeared on the 205th episode of MTV's Liquid Television. Neo Tokyo is adapted from a 1986 collection of short stories of the same name by Taku Mayamura, with each of the 50-minute trilogy's three diverse films being scripted by directors Rentaro, Yoshiaki Kawajiri, and Katsuhiro Otomo. Neo Tokyo begins with an maze called The Labyrinth, in which a clown leads a little girl to a circus tent where he then shows her the second and third films, Running Man and The Order to Stop Construction. The second film, Running Man, is directed by Yoshiaki Kawajiri and set at a futuristic racetrack called La Circus, where drivers compete in anti-gravity cars and where champion Zach Hugh, nicknamed the God of Death, literally drives himself to death to stay ahead of much younger drivers. The third feature, The Order to Stop Construction, is directed by Katsuhiro Otomo and set in the Amazon jungle where a project manager is sent to shut down a construction site but finds himself at odds with the site's robot foreman that wants the project to go on as scheduled. Neo Tokyo was a direct-to-video release in 1987 and double billed with a feature-length anime called Silent Mobius. At that time, Neo Tokyo was licensed by a company called Streamline Pictures, and if you knew about anime back then, you know about the classic, state-of-the-art Japanese animation trailer on all of their videos. State-of-the-art Japanese animation. When Streamline went out of business, Neo Tokyo and all of the company's anime titles were on moratorium for a while before being picked up by a company called ADV that also went out of business, putting Neo Tokyo again on moratorium. There is no plot unifying the short films. Neo Tokyo was anime's way of showcasing its top talents at that time. Rentaro, Yoshiaki Kawajiri, and Katsuhiro Otomo, all of whom went on to elevate anime out of obscurity in college dorms to the mainstream with classics like Akira, Metropolis, Ninja Scroll, and Vampire Hunter D Bloodlust. Each director of this anthology has his own distinct style.
You have Rentaro's surrealistic look against Kawajiri's realistic look. And then there's Otomo's obsession with tech and mechanical details. Of the three shorts, Yoshiaki Kawajiri's Running Man is my favorite. The detail in the cars and the characters, especially the close-ups of the veins pulsating in Zach Q's face and hands are incredible. Of the three directors, Kawajiri is the best character designer, and all of Kawajiri's films from Ninja Scroll to Wicked City bear this trademark. Neo Tokyo reminds us that as much as animation has gained with computer graphics and 3D, it can never replicate the edgy comic book feel that it once did when anime was hand drawn and painted cell by cell by artists. No, the anime wasn't smooth by today's animation standards, but it had more flair to make up for it. Anyway, anyone interested in seeing what real anime is when it was really good need to check out Neo Tokyo. It's not for sale anymore, but you can probably check it out on YouTube somewhere. I was lucky enough to get a copy after it was reissued. Thanks for watching this video review of the 1987 sci-fi anthology Neo Tokyo featuring Ren Taro, Yoshiaki Kawajiri, and Katsuhiro Otomo. If you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. If you would also leave a comment, and especially if you would subscribe to my channel for more quality videos such as this one. Here's a bonus trailer from Streamline Entertainment. Enjoy. From Streamline Pictures, state of the art Japanese animation.
lying in the balance. His task is simple. Protect a man's life for 24 hours. I'm putting you in charge of gardening. Who is this person? Mr. Giuseppe Meyer. Guard him without fail because as far as the radicals are concerned, if they can kill him, they'll control everything. Thrust into a world of supernatural treachery is only hope that his new partner is as good as she looks. Top agents from Officer War spend the last defense against the anarchy of the black world. The life of me, I can't figure out why you're my partner. What do you mean is why your partner is a woman of the black world? The twisted beings from the other side will do anything to stop them. Deadly. There's no place to hide. Wicked City.